guys, how's it going? This is Enrique, this is Easy Pictures to Draw. Hopefully you guys are having uh, a pretty uh, pretty great day. Yeah. I am going to uh, <laughs> go over how to draw a cute version of an armadillo for you. Uh, I'm going to be using this particular marker here. This, this is the Faber-Castell P-I-T-T Artist Pen. Big brush. Um, but first, a word from our sponsor here. Where are we? This is the armadillo. I gotta do it for this one. This is the armadillo wristband, an arm dash adillo, and uh, this wristband is basically to hold your pencils. It even has a big, uh, stretchy one here for like a fat marker, things like that. And what you do is you can actually wrap this around your wrist if you like, which my buddy does, or you can actually uh, have the, this elastic built-in elastic that which is wraps around any particular uh, sketchbook. Well, most sketchbooks, right? Uh, and it'll kind of stick to it, essentially. It'll kind of wrap around it. <clears throat> There's also a built-in magnet over here. You can stick to metal. And uh, I use this one. This is mine, so excuse this one being kind of dirty. But um, that's pretty much the gist. Check that out on arm-adillo.com. I'm going to write that on the screen. I'm not going to put the link in the description, though. It's arm-adillo.com. Um, just open up a new window and go check that out. Um, where there's actually a sale uh, right now, so uh, it's limited time. Uh, but anyways, let's get back to the you know business of drawing. Uh, right now we're going to be uh, going over the armadillo here. So let's start it up. <clears throat> oh, another thing about this marker. The thing I love about this marker is I actually love that it doesn't really smell that bad. You know, things like the Sharpie, uh, other things like that, uh, other thing, other markers smell horrendously, horrendously bad. And they're bad for you when you inhale them. This one, I, I haven't found anything difficult. So unless it's a, you know, you can't smell it and it's hurting me, but I don't think so. So we're gonna start with the top of the head. This has got armored, armored head. Going into the ear. Simple, simplistic ear. I'm going to do the far side ear. Pulling down. Nose. Pulling upward. Into the mouth. Lower jaw. I'm going to draw the eye as kind of this upside down U, like he's smiling or something. I like that. I think that just looks really cute. I like it. Completing the head. It's got kind of like a little pig head almost. Pulling down. Back. And that's going to be the out, the top kind of uh, shell armor. This, this is the top. Looks kind of like a roly poly. That armor at the top there. Pulling downward. Pulling one more time. One more time as well. You can put four divisions or you can put more. I just kind of chose to put four, so feel free. They kind of, you know, they kind of uh, merge into each other. Looks like a little pig man right now. Pulling the tail back. Leg downward. The hind leg has kind of a, a build to it. Toes. Uh, 
the bottom of the stomach. Foot. I'm sorry, the foot, sorry, the leg part of the foot. It's got short feet. Little toes there. And same thing with the far side. Also, one other thing I'm going to be drawing. Um, <coughs> I want to actually kind of go into the, the texture of this. You can actually, what, what I, you can draw a little, whatever shape you want. I'm going to be drawing almost these little built in scales. I'm going to do them as thin as I can. But I'm not going to do them everywhere. I'm just going to do them on each layer a little bit. And you can choose whatever structure you want. Uh, for example, well, let me do this and I'll show you what I mean by that. Now put them on each little layer. Um, maybe you can kind of divide the tail up as well. So what I mean by the structure is, let me show you on the, this. You can, for the pattern, you can choose these scaly type patterns, almost feathery, almost eagle-like, right? Uh, or you can put, uh, and I've seen this as well, this squared type, almost brick-like pattern. maybe even like you know discontinue them below have them fade away uh, or you can have uh, let me think of another one or you can have little connecting uh, balls here little circles and have that slowly fading away because what you're doing is you're trying to uh, you're trying to shorthand uh, an entire texture. You're trying to say that, you're trying to indicate that this texture will be entirely through the entire creature, you know, without actually doing that. So it's kind of really uh, up to you. So just kind of like uh, take that into account and really find your own style with these. Uh, what I will do is I will. Um, go over and I'll do what I normally do, which is I give it a thicker contour. And you guys know by now that I, I tend to give almost everything on this channel a thicker contour because I think it gives it a cartoonier, cooler look, in my opinion. And that is simply my opinion, nothing else. Um, be careful how you pull these lines as well. It tends to, uh, how do you say that? Uh, it it kind of gives it a, a top-heavy look if the lines are too thick on top or anywhere around there. So uh, I do kind of recommend like when you control your marker and you pull it from one to the other, practice your kind of thickness as you're doing that. This marker is uh, somewhat drying up, not too dry. That's why I had to do that, like in more than one stroke. But I would literally practice the thickness of your strokes uh, on a different page, and really try to like take that into account as well. The more you kind of have control over your marker, your tool, you're gonna you're gonna see like just amazing results. The more control you have, you know, you're gonna be able to do the things that you really want to do with it. You're gonna be able to think. Uh, uh, you know, quicker and better and come up with better solutions when you can, can kind of do it. You can actually do it. So keep that in mind, guys. Thanks a lot. I, I really appreciate it.
Um, uh, you know, check the videos out in the description. I'm gonna be putting up videos uh, for different playlists, and I'll probably put like a secret video of the day of something I enjoyed watching. You know, whether it be an animal video or some kind of cool fun fact, uh, not on this channel or something like that. So, thanks a lot, guys, and I'll see you soon.